Tonight, there's a hush around this stadium right now. Leon Madsen, of course, um, uh, they had three riders, the Danes, in the uh, semi-finals. They've got one in the final here, and probably uh, the one that, uh, in the uh, context of the 2022 World Championship, uh, is uh, the one they want to see, because um, uh, 16 points in arrears to that man alongside him, and an opportunity once again just to eke into that lead if he can get away sharply here in the final. Yeah, he took six points out of the lead in, uh, in Vratislav. He could do the same again tonight with the right result here in the final. He could indeed. So here we go then. Grand conclusion to the night with the final. Dudek's been riding well all of late. And um, uh, makes another final. And it's got a favoured gait. Could be his night. Goes about his business quite calmly and quietly these days, but uh, nonetheless, that's uh, certainly since that win in uh, Germany and Tetra, I really had some uh, had a really great run of form. And uh, wouldn't be a surprise at all to see him win from the inside here this evening. So uh, Voyant Centre packed to the rafters tonight. Great atmosphere out there. Promotion have done a great job to encourage people to come. The weather's played its part and uh, the public have responded in fine style. So on the inside is Patrick Dudek in red. Leon Madsen was alongside him in blue, gate number two. Gate number three in white is Bartosz Smarzlik and Robert Lambert will go from the outside in yellow. Who do you fancy then, Chris? This is a um, uh, tough lineup as always, but um, uh, <laughs> Robert Lambert, I mean, Clark, he really has um, uh, turned it on in style lately. He has, yeah, and uh, experienced his first podium last time out in Russell. I've got to say, gate four and the the, the speed that he uh, showed us in the semi-final uh, uh, makes him my favourite coming from gate four. Yeah, I would uh, possibly go along there with that, but um, uh, I think I'm just going to go with a home win here with Leon Madsen, I think just to mix it up a wee bit, but uh, it could be a tall order coming out of gate number two. Here we go then, big final on the night here in Boyens. Here we go, green lights on and we're Madsen's made a good stop, but so is Smarzlik, but it's Lambert. Lambert and Smarzlik through that first corner. Smarzlik there, Lambert having the door absolutely rammed shut down the back straight. What a start from gate number three that was. Madsen coming on strong in third place, but Robert Lambert now settling in second. But this is just what Smarzlik has done. He's cleared off out in front. The championship lead was 16 points. He's going to stretch it by another four points if he can hang on out in front now. Oh, great stuff from Bartosz Smarzlik. He is so determined. His semi-final ride and the speed and pace he's got in that first turn coming from gate three. Almost impossible task. Robert Lambert, uh, great first lap, but he just had to get defensive on uh, Madsen. Lost that initial ground on Smarzlik. But what a response. Great ride from Bartosz Smarzlik. Smarzlik out in front. This is all but done. The World Championship is getting ever closer. He wins here in Boyens tonight. Brilliant ride from him. Robert Lambert did, clearly delighted with a second place. And Leon Madsen back in third and Dudek misses out. Smarzlik wins his second Grand Prix of the year. And um, won the opening round, of course, in Croatia. Wins again in Voyen. Superb effort from him. Congratulations also goes to Robert Lambert with a fine second place. Brilliant stuff from Robert Lambert. And Leon Madsen back in third. But Smarzlik, you can just see the reaction. That meant an awful lot to him tonight. It did, yeah. It's uh, rare that you see him reacting quite like that. He's used to winning races, used to winning Grand Prix. But uh, that's two wins now here in Boyens and a second from his three Grand Prix. And, uh, well, you've got to say, fully deserved it. How, how much speed did he have in that final? And what a start it was from gate number three. Absolutely nailed it. And when it really matches, Smarzlik showed his class and came through with such a stunning display there in the final. The opposition really had no answers for it. Smarzlik wins the final brilliantly. Great ride for Robert Lambert back in second place. Leon Madsen in third and Dudek just missing out. Didn't get away as well as he would have liked off that inside gate. But for that man now, you've got to say, with uh, another 20-point haul and 16 points for Leon Madsen, he stretches that lead out to 20 points once again with two rounds to go. He is in the box seat and could very well tie up his third world championship in a week's time in Melilla in Sweden but uh, nonetheless 
A brilliant victory tonight. So much respect from all three of these riders uh, riding round. Now ahead of the uh, presentation of trophies, but we just see it again from the start. Madsen drops the clutch, tries everything to get it to come from gate two, but Schmarslik from gate three hasn't been working at all oh. well all night. Oh. Shuts the door there, both legs. We saw Schmarslik and Robert Lambert having a long chat just now after the race. Uh, maybe it was a little bit about that first lap, but uh, Schmarslik, he didn't shut the door, he slammed it in Robert Lambert's face. Great start from Robert Lambert coming from gate four, but... Uh, Schmarslik there now on the inside, just creeps around the curb. And uh, Robert Lambert, he thinks he's got a run, but uh, yeah, Schmarslik left him nothing at all. No, he didn't. It was uh, a ruthless move there from a man who was very Lucky keen. Lucky he didn't put his, uh, foot I'll in tell his you front what, wheel, actually. Absolutely. It was awfully close, and Robert Lambert had to put all the brakes on down the back straight. But Schmarslik's performance in the semi-final was unbelievable to get around the outside of uh, Jason Dahl. We really did see the best of Bartosz Schmarslik in his last two outings here this evening. Absolutely top-draw performance from Bartosz Schmarslik. 20-point lead in the World Championship. Looking set for a third world title in four years. An outstanding achievement that would be if he does indeed go on and do it. And he's certainly looking set fair for that. Joy in the camp. It's been a tough night for them. They've had to work very hard indeed. And the rider was the difference. You know, the semi-final in particular when he was at the back in the first corner. Yep. Here we see the points on the night. 20 points for Smarslik, 18 for Lambert, great effort for Lambert. Leon Madsen, 16 for him, Dudek, 14. Rasmus Jensen, 12 points for him, a good effort. Jason Doyle on 11, Ty Wolfenden on 10, Mikkel Mickelson on 9. be very interesting to see the overall standings now, to see the positions in the top six as well, because they'll, no question, I think um, Robert Lambert will be well and truly in there now with Freddie Lindgren missing out but for that man he's in the box seat right now he's been in charge pretty much all throughout the season but that second Grand Prix win on the year you've got to believe it's giving him uh, every chance of clinching his third world championship in four seasons so yeah there you see it now the 20 point lead 128 points 108 there for Leon Madsen 91 for Bewley not a great night for him Patrick Dudek closing in Robert Lambert into fifth place on 86 10 points clear of the man in sixth what a night for Lambert brilliant stuff from him Wolfenden back in seventh and Lindgren dropping down to eighth Mickelson there just running out of steam so you have to feel a bit for him and Doyle back in 10th on 68 but still nothing to choose between 6th and uh, and 10th so let's get down with Scott Nichols on the centre green, he's got the winner Bartosz Schmalzik with him now yeah, your winner here in Voyance of Round 8 is the championship leader, Bartosz Marslik. Bartosz, you didn't have the first choice of gate. It was kind of the, one of the worst choices, but you're going to made it. Your second win here, and you extend your championship lead by 20 points. I'm really happy because the, my starts today is so really hard, and I don't feel good speed the first two racing. But after I feel a little bit better on the start and the... the, the the laps and uh, in the final I have the everything and starting laps and uh, I'm really happy because that is boy and so special place so very hard for the body and for the good setups because the very hit so big different. You were just having a little uh, laugh with Leon there. Were you quite happy to have gate three? Did you see like a good spot just before that final? A little bit, yes, because I see the, what the gate three in the semi-final and Jason Doyle also close to me the, from the gate three. And I, uh, for me, it's all, all, only the gate three and I say to, to my head, and gate three, I look at so really nice and I'm, you must going and you must win this today night because you, you, want, you, you know what do you doing in the gate three uh, for the win. You've made gate three and you got the win. It was very close with you and Robert Lambert. You had a little chat afterwards. Everything good? Yes, because the, in the final, I think so, every guy so make it a good start. And, uh, but I'm also, and I'm full focus for me, and I am only remember Green Lamp and Line and pull, keep going. <laughs> Green Lamp and Checker Flag. Well done, Bartosz. Go and enjoy the celebration. Thank you. Thank you.